Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful little cubes using really simple stuff, only two sizes of seed beads. In my previous video I showed you how I'm doing those earrings and you said you, you don't see anything clear here because I used only one color and dark beads and that is why here I will use two colors and lighter beads so probably you will be able to see what I'm doing with the cubes. First I did this uh, cube with one color and then I saw this beautiful flower in the center and different other shapes and I decided to make it in different colors so the shapes could be more visible and using different colors. And this is an intermediate uh, tutorial but I'm sure uh, because I'm showing it really slowly and I have other tutorials that I'm linking here with the same uh, stitch, uh, you will be able to make it at the end. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of HO beads and one color of 11 O seed beads matching one of those two colors. And here I use monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. Okay, and now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle, which is 1.2 meters for those who measure in centimeters. And I'm going to start. Okay guys, and as I told you in the beginning, I'm going to use lighter colors and combine two colors so my work will be better seen. Okay, and I have two reds and two goldens on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I made and I pull and now guys I have this okay I have this and now I'm going to start my work from here now in my next step I want one golden and two reds and in this way I still have four beads okay uh, I'm using this one for my fourth bead and I'm making a cross again here you see and I'm taking those beads uh, so that the golden beads are next to each other and the red beads are next to each other then I'm going through the following golden bead and I will take two reds why two because I want to use these two goldens and when I go through them like this I still have four beads and I will make a, cr a cross of four okay and when I pull you see I still have here a cross of four and I'm using the beads from my previous cross okay so I will go through the third bead here I'm surrounding this cross in the middle and making crosses using those four beads here okay and now as I'm exiting from this red bead I will take two goldens because I will go through these two red beads I will have four again two reds next to each other and two goldens next to each other and pull And then I will go here through this red, which is the last one of this central, or I will call it a base bead. Um, 
that is the base of my work. I make a cross here, here and here and now I'm exiting from my fourth beat. In this beat I want to connect this, this and this one and I will flip them upwards to connect them. Okay, so I'm going here through these two reds and I have one golden so I need one more golden to make a cross of four. And don't worry that your cross uh, will look strange because it will be turned upwards. Okay, now I have two reds next to each other and two goldens next to each other and when I pull I still have a cross of four. You see two reds and two goldens next to each other and when I pull upwards all of my beads you see what I have. Two reds and two goldens next to each other and I'm going to connect them because they are not connected in a cross but I'm going to connect them like this okay now you see what I have here I cr have a cross of four two reds and two goldens here I also have a cross of four two reds and two goldens here I also have, and also my base is a cross of four, and here the bits that I connected are also a cross of four. Okay, and from here on, guys, I'm going to start my next element. This will be the base for the same element, and uh, this is something like a cube here okay and I take one gold and two reds because here I already have one gold and I want to make the same cross of four like I did before you see now I have the same thing okay four beads crossed here and four beads crossed here okay I have this the same thing now I will go through this golden, through the following golden, and you see here I have two goldens, so I need two red beads in my next step, and I'm going back in circle through these two goldens, like this. Still, you see what I have across of four, okay, and this starts going up when I pull. Okay, then in my base it comes the third side, which is this red bead. Okay, this is one side, two sides, three sides. And here I will take two goldens because, as I told you, I'm going to use these two reds. And still, when I pull, I have a cross of four, you see? And it's time to pull them to the center of my work. And when I pull them, you see, this is my third side. And here I have two reds and one golden. Look those beads that are the, the most sticking out because these are at the back, these two. Uh, that you see the holes of they are of the back and you're interested in those bits that are at the front okay and I'm sure you know what to add next because here you have two reds and one golden so you need one go golden next to the golden and then you pull And then go here through this red. And my final step is to connect those four beads here. They are not connected, but they are forming a cross when I pull my work to the center. I hope now with two colors and with lighter colors you see better than you did in your previous work. Okay. 
Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm exiting out of this red bead. And what I want to take are two goldens and one red. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this one here. Okay. Now I have this. And in my next step, I'm going through this golden bead here at the side you see here and I want to take two red beads and I want to go back in circle through this golden okay I have this now I'm going through this golden And from this side I need a golden and a red. And I'm going back through this one here. And now guys I'm up to this third side where I need to add only one bead. Okay, I'm going through this red one, then through the other red here, and you see I have one, two, three beads, and I need one more golden, and I will go back in circle through this golden here. And now guys, I'm going to reinforce this work. By connecting those beads here at the end. Okay guys, and what I want to do is make one more unit here of the same type then one more unit here of the same type and I'll be back to show you how I'm doing the last one. I'm sure if you did it up to here you will be able to make two more of those units here and here and I'll do them and I'll be back. Okay guys and I have one more unit to go to finish my work okay and this last unit it already has two sides and a base that is why I'm going to add only one side here. You see those two red beads I will connect with two goldens like this. Okay. And what I want to do is go in my base here and exit from the other side of my work and you see I have here my last three beads golden and two reds and I'm exiting out of those two beads a red and a golden and I need one more golden and I'm going back through these two reds and with this my cube will be ready okay you see I have different shapes from each side and the last step is to connect those last four beads here okay and then I'm here and I have another step at this stage. I will take golden 11 nose and I will fill the gaps of my work, okay? I'm going here through this golden. Take one more golden. And I will make the edge of my work here.
Now I will go through this red one, take one more golden and go through the center, filling this gap and making a flower. Okay, now I have this and I will fill the gaps from this side. It is something like a wave here, just I will fill uh, these gaps here with golden beads and then I will be back to show you the final result. Okay guys, and this is the final result. Here I have a beautiful wave going around my cube and this is a beautiful flower in the center. I have it here at the back too. Uh, you could make flowers from each side um, if you think of the pattern and where your colors go. But I decided to make it with a wave now. So that's all from me. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.